everybody what is up it is sunday evening 6 6 p.m it's so dark out i still cannot get used to this whole time sit change but we're working with it i am not even going to lie i've had the laziest day and i did it on purpose i was like danielle you don't have anything immediately that needs to get done today literally i forced myself to sit on the couch for probably five to six hours i watched movies i took random little naps in between i watched youtube i just had myself a time and i made some mac and cheese in between like it was just a comfort day and i'm really not mad about it i really really needed that it was just so nice to not have to like worry about oh i have to leave in an hour you know like i was just i was really planning on going all day but knowing myself i just couldn't stay on the couch after a while like i really want to be doing something so one of the videos i was watching today was my friend margot lee's like sunday night routine and i was like oh my gosh this really inspired me and she kind of talked about how sundays are her way of starting the week rather than ending the week and so basically i used my first half of my sunday as ending my week in the second half i'm gonna start my week off fresh and so i'm really excited about that sunday nights are kind of weird for me because monday i don't have class so kind of mondays are my sundays but why not get ahead? So this video is inspired by Margo. I'm going to be showing you guys like a little Sunday night routine, a little Sunday night vlog. I plan on cleaning out my closet tonight, getting some cleaning done, um, some editing, I'm going grocery shopping, all that fun stuff. So first on the list, we're gonna head to dinner with my friend Dawson. We're going to a place called Mediterranean Grill, get some yummy dinner I need to get out of the apartment. So we're gonna go to dinner and then I think I convinced her to come to Trader Joe's with me because she's never been and I wanted to try it out so that is the first step of the Sunday night routine at six o'clock let's get started here's my little outfit for dinner I decided to change out the turtleneck it was just we're going to a super chill place I just felt really dressed up so this hoodie is from the cotton citizen a lot of you guys ask about it I love it I got it at the store intermix on sale though and then I'm wearing Lululemon leggings and my Vince slip-ons I will have them linked down below you guys always ask about them they're not from Vans they're from Vince yum 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 <laughs> D West D <laughs> do, 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 do. Dawson's first time at Trader Joe's <laughs> The frozen section is lit. It's probably good. I've never had their pasta, but I've had that cauliflower and gnocchi back there for show. Sure. So I just got back from Trader Joe's. I thought I'd give you guys a little haul. Keep in mind this Friday, or keep in mind this Saturday, I'm flying home to Tampa for the week for Thanksgiving, so I don't need like a ton. I just needed some stuff to get me through the weeks, just a couple basics, because I did do some grocery shopping last week. I got some berries. I love the berries from Trader Joe's and everything's so inexpensive. Every, I got everything for like under $40, which I think is amazing. But yeah, I'm really into making like yogurt parfaits. So I get this Greek yogurt from Trader Joe's and then I put berries, blueberries and granola. Really into bananas right now. They're such a great snack. So I got a bunch of those. I got some frozen Brussels sprouts. Um, so I feel like that'd be a really good snack if you like season them well. I got some green beans that are microwavable because I made a HelloFresh meal last week that was with green beans. And I was like, I forgot how much I love green beans. So got those. Got some more mashed cauliflower because it's always such a good snack. Seriously amazing. I'm going to try this very green juice smoothie because I love green juice. And I always look for a green juice that has apple in it. That means it's not going to taste completely terrible. So I'm curious to see um, if this is really good. It's got spirulina, chlorella, broccoli, ginger. Ooh, that's really good for your stomach. I got a thing of their classic California rolls. I feel like that'd be a good lunch or something sometime this week. And then I got two of their chicken Caesar salads. These are absolutely amazing. I don't even like salad dressing, so like I just kind of put the dressing to the side, but I ate everything else and it's such a good lunch to have in between classes and stuff. So yeah, that is everything I got at Trader Joe's. It was really good. I'm gonna put these away and then I'll check in with you guys after. So now I'm gonna pop in a podcast and something that I've been wanting to do for a couple weeks now is clean out my closet. I have a closet in here and then I have a closet in my office. Next year I'm so excited because Delaney Free and I are living together. I'm so excited, but I'm gonna have to downsize um, for our apartment. So I'm just like, Danielle, you have clothes in both closets. like. You need to start training now for this. <laughs> so I just realized I have a lot of clothing that maybe I wear once a year, but I just really can give away. I might put some stuff aside to like sell. I've grown up my whole life donating things to thrift shops and just like really seeing a good outcome from it. Um, I know a lot of you guys are like, why wouldn't you sell it? But I just, I don't know. It feels really good to be able to give it away or like give it to my friends or whatever. Yeah, I already have this whole bag of stuff that um, I want to give away, but I have so much more to go through. 
I need to go through this. This is more recent stuff, but then I literally have a closet full of clothes in here. It's all jackets, but like at the end of the day, am I gonna wear all these jackets? No. Tonight's podcast of choice. I just started listening to The Skinny Confidential featuring Gigi Gorgeous. I'm really excited to listen to it. Let's go. I'd say we're making some progress. I just kind of cleared out um, my clothing rack. I put some of my more colorful pieces in there. I actually don't have as much clothing in here as I thought. Like most of this is like empty. Um, I just put some of my like more colorful summery dresses back there. And then I've got a ton of my more thicker winter coats. I really don't know which ones I'm gonna use until the weather gets even colder. So I'm gonna kind of like revisit this section later. These are just like random sweaters. Um, I'm really trying to figure out how I wanna organize all of this. Yeah, so I kind of cleared out this and I tried to organize it by color. Um, so I've got like greens into tan, into white, into black, into denim. So I just think that looks really aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> and then this is my pile of clothes. I actually also decided to give away these two pairs of shoes. I like honestly recently got them but I haven't worn them yet. And they were literally, everything on the website when I got this stuff was 50% off, so it was like fine. But I mean, my just like look how much decluttering I just did. Like, that is a mound. It's weird, like I cleaned out stuff, but like I still wanna clean out more, but like I love everything right there. Like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna revisit this room later. Now I want to go into my main closet and I really just want to just I don't even I don't even know what I want to do here. I want to make sure the stuff in here is the stuff that I'm gonna be wearing mostly. I've just got some of my like favorite like essential sweaters here. And then like these are kind of annoying because they kind of get in the way of this whole section, but I don't really have anywhere else to put them. First off, I want to do this and then then those are all my crop tops and stuff. That's what I want to get into next. All right, so I cleared out a lot of that. So I have all my sweaters and more fall attire there. Now, as you can see, it is quite messy down here. These are t-shirts, sweatshirts, you know, this is kind of all set in stone. This is what I need to organize. The other day, Brooke came over and I was trying to find um, <laughs> uh, some shirts for her to wear for like a game or something, I forget. So I just kind of threw everything down. But I definitely don't need this many crop tops and bodysuits. Like. I need to minimize. <laughs> All right, so we've got a large pile of shirts that I didn't need. Look at that. Um, I just decided to clear out this whole drawer because I'm sure I'll have stuff to put in there soon. I've got some more like crop tops and just more colorful things that I'm not wearing right now. I mean, down there is just pajamas. I just don't feel like doing with it. <laughs> but then here, I try to do the whole color thing, yellow to white to black. Oh, there's a red one right there. So out of place. Um, but these are just some going out tops, some bodysuits, just some more basic tops. I'm kind of more into just wearing bodysuits or crop tops with like jeans. It's just more of a, I don't know, I'm just kind of into more of the basic look. That's why I'm cleaning out my closet. It's safe to say my closet looks a lot better. Those are a ton of sweatshirts. I'm just not going to deal with that right now. <laughs> Talk about a closet clean out, guys. This is insane. I hope this inspires you guys to clean out your closet. I know mine's probably more excessive because I do shop more and I just really am not in the mood for like any hate comments or anything. Um, I'm about to text my friends and send them a picture of this and have them all come over tomorrow or something and they can pick and choose and then I'll go and donate. I just texted a ton of my friends and they're like, I'm coming right now. Like even my hallmates. <laughs> I didn't think everyone would respond so well, so I guess I gotta get ready. I'm about to have a ton of girls attack my clothes. I'm low-key hoping that they just take everything and then I don't have to carry this down to my car. Got two candles going now. <laughs> I just wanted more scent. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing this candle. That doesn't make any sense. I could play music, but anyways. I've got the Harvest Gathering scent going because last time I went, they didn't have any more of the Autumn Candle Bath & Body Works, what the heck? And then I just lit um, the Campfire Donut. I really like this one. It's just kind of like a 
like a cake sugary smell, but it's a great combo. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd update you guys. Got some hot water going. I'm in the mood for some hot tea before my gals come here. In my favorite tea, this is the Bigelow Plantation Mint. It is so good. It might keep me up tonight, but that's okay. This is a vibe. Hello, guys. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god. Some of it might be wrinkly. I'm sorry. Please just have at it, ladies. <laughs> Keep going. Let's go. I'm like I'm like leading a boot camp. I'm so honored. You guys are so sweet. This is so fun. I just can't. This is the best. I need to do this more often. Wow. Thanks, guys. I don't even have to go to the thrift store. They just cleaned it off. Oh my god. This is amazing. Thanks guys. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Woo, Santa. I guess I didn't really tidy up my shoes either, but you know, it's it's a it's a different thing every day. I've been trying to like actually put my dishes in the dishwasher as I'm using them so my sink doesn't pile up. But this piled up from earlier, so I'm gonna put this in the dishwasher and then run it before I go to bed. It is time for me to take a shower. I had plans to go to the gym tonight because I have a gym in my apartment and I was just gonna like walk on like a high incline because it's at least something to do. But frankly, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Just got out of the shower, I'm feeling great. I was listening to, it's blurry. I was listening to John Mayer when I was in the shower. It was just so relaxing. I thought I'd show you guys some of the products that I used tonight. So I used the Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo and as I was putting it in my hand, I was like, oh my God, like it's actually Sunday. Um, I tend to do this. Um, it's called a weekly detoxifying shampoo. My hair sells back at home, Andy told me about it. It removes residue and buildup. Um, I've used a lot of it as you can tell. I just like to use it once a week or so because sometimes like, I don't know, my hair just gets kind of like, I don't know, after using lots of product in your hair, I just feel like it needs a good cleanse, so that's why I have this. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. I also have been using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. I decided to use that today, so I start off with that shampoo, and then I use the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. It's just really good for color-treated hair. Keeps those bonds good. I then cleaned my body with this Skin & Co. Blue & Capri shower gel. It smells amazing. I got it in my FabFitFun box, and it's almost empty. I'm really sad. And then after that, I also went ahead and used the um, Soap & Glory whipped clean shower butter I love this stuff it's like lotion but then you just rinse it off and as for face wash I switch off in between the two but I went for a little bit more of an exfoliant tonight this is the soap and glory vitamin C facial wash and facial wash that's hard to say and I love it so I just thought I'd show you guys some of the products I used tonight thought it'd be fun but yeah I'm gonna get dressed now I totally just realized I have not drinking enough water this weekend because I stay so hydrated during the week because I have like a water bottle in my backpack but over the weekend I don't and I really notice this a uh, difference just in my overall energy and my skin so I just pop some ice in a cup and I'm just pouring the heck out of this Brita right now. I'm gonna grab my water and head to the office or the studio or whatever you wish to call it. On Sunday nights I like to sit down and kind of look over the week, get whatever done that I need to get. Luckily, like I said, I, it's so late, <laughs> I don't have classes tomorrow, so I don't really have to worry too much. I just like to look and get an idea of like what the week looks like. Brooke and I have like a Google Doc for the podcast with all of our ideas. This is literally, it's just like a running thread. I don't know why we do it like this, but we do. So we write down our ideas so we don't get repetitive, so I'm going to write down my ideas. Damn. almost 2 a.m. I don't know what's gotten into me. I sat down to just start editing like a little bit of this vlog from this weekend and I just finished it. I made an intro and everything. I used like the UGA song. A, it's kind of hype um, and it's just Reagan coming to visit me, all that fun stuff. So you guys should definitely check it out when it goes alive. So I successfully did all three things that I wanted to at least get done tonight. So I feel, I feel great. Letting my video export now, I was totally snacking on some of these. I'm gonna put these guys away. I don't need any more. Since I'm going to bed here in a second, I'm just gonna get my dishwasher going. 
So I wake up with clean dishes, closing my blinds, which means we're getting ready for bed. It's so funny, the first half of my day was literally spent on the couch, and then the second half just took a turn for things and just became very productive. I'm headed to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this Sunday night routine. I honestly feel like I wouldn't have been as productive if I didn't vlog it, so thanks to you guys. I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye-bye.